the channel, I'm Alex and we are on the way to see Meccano's in Norwich at a pub called the Ribs of Beef. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing them play and catch up with a few friends, hopefully I'll get to speak to them and uh, I'll show you some footage. Hope you enjoy the video, if you like what you see please like and subscribe and ding that bell for notifications, it all really helps and it's free for you to do so. So. Uh, onwards and upwards, I'm with my dad. <laughs> We're going to be picking up my friend John, who's also a great musician, and uh, should be a really nice evening. waiting at traffic lights for uh, roadworks. Um, I'd like to tell you that I did record the Meccanos recently. Um, we went to a local church to record them and uh, they did a live EP. That's now available on Spotify and uh, features five tracks, including their new single For Fortune. Uh, it's all completely live and raw and uh, I've actually taken a video of them during that recording. The video of this particular take wasn't actually used in the recording if you like so uh, it's a bit of an exclusive so I'm going to include it uh, as a video on my YouTube channel link below also and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it well we now have my good friend John in the, the van with us um, and he's coming to see the gig um, you can check out John's music uh, also on YouTube uh, he has a little YouTube channel which is called it is called uh, Jungle John. Is it called Jungle John? I think is it, it is called Jungle John. <laughs> I will link it in the description as well. But John um, is very good at uh, programming and doing electronic music. He's been concentrating on his YouTube channel with kind of vintage music making machines such as the Atari ST and the Amiga. And also now been using things like the Poly End Tracker. Yeah, I've been getting on with some tracking stuff. You know, having to go on the Poly End Tracker as well nowadays, doing some beats on that. So, with John's permission, I would like to do a blog piece specifically about him, um, and we'll add it to the channel later on. We'll so, go for that. onwards to the Meccanos. <laughs> we have friends who are playing in the reindeer today as well. <laughs> okay. Well, we're here in the Ribs of Beef in Norwich. As you can see, the band are sound checking in the background. We have my good friend Sylvia here and various friends and family. There's John. So uh, hopefully I'll get to speak to the band and uh, I'll take a bit of footage of them playing. Uh, enjoy. See what you think. Maybe notice on the video he was playing this lovely guitar. Uh, so obviously it's an Ibanez arch top, and uh, Scott, do you want to tell me a bit more about it? You're going to have to be yeah, fairly well, loud. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, um, I didn't really know how much this was worth. Was asked considering selling it 
but um, after some research, I realised it's actually quite a vintage guitar, and I worked out that actually you you can tell the year that the guitar was made by the first two serial numbers. So it's an '85. Um, so yeah, quite vintage. And it turns out on the internet, there's none available in England anywhere. Um, not even second-hand places. There's a few in America I found after doing extensive research that are going for two, three thousand dollars. So then that made me think and made me play a little bit more. And I thought, yeah, it's quite a nice sounding guitar, isn't it? So um, no, I'm bringing it back in the set for a little bit before I'm gonna eventually sell it. Yeah. So not a bad. Thing, considering you were given the guitar, is that right? <laughs> yeah, not bad. You, you were thinking it was worth a couple of hundred quid. Yeah. I had no idea. Had no idea. This is gorgeous. Is it some sort of maple, do you think? And we've got obviously got rose rosewood fingerboard. Yeah. Uh, the Ibanez. And the, the model is an FG100. FG100. So if anyone has any information on this guitar that's watching this vlog, please do comment below. There was because it would be very, very useful. There was, there's a few made. Have a look at the back. There's a few made in the 80s, starting from 81, I believe. Um, and it's stock production at 88. So this is sort of bang in the middle of the era. But yeah, I found that they're very hard to come by. Yeah. I think quite rare. Very, very lovely. Thank you so much, Scott. You're what's, welcome. what's the next plan for the Meccanos? The next plan, well, we have just recorded some live, uh, a live EP, Alex. I wonder who yeah. recorded that. Know. Some idiot, I don't know. <laughs> no, he's done a great job, Alex, in recording it. Uh, we're so excited because we've got five of our originals on Spotify now, um, plus one cover. And then the plan is that we're going to get them on CD uh, next week. So we'll be ready to sell them at future gigs, and if people want to order them through our email and Facebook, then they'll be um, very welcome to do so. So I think we're only getting 250 copies made, so if you'd like one, be quick. <laughs> um, do you have a website at the moment for Meccanos? Yeah, we have the Meccanos.com, um, but yeah, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and then our music's on Spotify as well. Links below, so make sure you go and check them out. Check the links below if you want to have a look at their links, etc., etc., etc. You know the drill. Like and subscribe, and uh, ding the bell for notifications and more videos. See you later. Bye. <laughs>